Hey, Sausage Sleuths, it's me, the number one Sausage Sleuth Joe, here replaying one of our most iconic Nancy Drew Let's Play series, Nancy Drew, A Curse, A Blackmore Manor. And in fact, we're gonna be doing it on Senior Detective Mode. I'm very excited. This is, we're oh, we're streaming this on three, two, three, two, three. That's the date. And if you remember in this game, I didn't, I don't remember, but everyone else remembers. This is the one where I got stuck on that puzzle and it was three, two, three was always the solution. Welcome but in fact, it wasn't the solution, which is why I to lost start, my mind. Choose junior or senior detective. We're gonna choose it's senior detective. Dear Ned, greetings from Jolly Old England. Greetings from Although Jolly Old England. England. Sure about the jolly part. Oh, I'm it's excited. I'm on my way to Blackmore Manor. <gasps> Where the daughter is that the Eiffel Tower? Living, the daughter, whose name is Linda, recently married Hugh Pendle. We're gonna have fun. Hugh travels a lot, so the only people at the manor with Linda are Hugh's aunt, Mrs. Drake, is that that couple from the office? Jane, is that Pam and Jim? Ever since Linda moved into the manor, her health has gone downhill. She's Not practically this. bedridden, and no one seems to know why. Not her Jane. Is something is terribly wrong and wants me to find out what. So here I am, about to be dropped off at a huge centuries-old mansion in the middle of a dark, foggy moor. Nancy said, I'm about, about to be dropped off at a mansion again. About. Just a tad creeped out. Talk to you soon. I hope. Nancy. Night, miss. Good luck. Night, miss. And good luck. I could have done this. And I would have committed even more. See? You gotta get the gravelly voice. Night, miss! See? Well, here I am again, going into a big mansion. A free vacation for me, Nancy Drew, already Nancy. rich. <laughs> and I could have done that part too. That's just what I sound like. Who's there? Hello? It, it knocked the door for me. <laughs> I would have screamed a little more there, too. There's something out there. Where, child? That's the jump scare. Everyone Over in this there. house, she doesn't know she's about to I mean, walk into the jump scare. Out there. Come the call in. is coming from inside the house in this game. The call is coming from inside the house, in particular, Jane's room. I'm Mrs. Drake. I take it you and Nancy Drew? Yes, and I really did see something, Mrs. Drake. I heard something, too. Oh, people are always seeing and hearing things on the moor at night, especially you Americans. Why don't you just go on up to your room? It's the one with the moon on the door. I'd like to see Linda, if I could. That's I not an American Linda accent she's doing. That's a British not accent. I'm ready to meet with you just now. But please, come see me after you've unpacked. I'll be in the conservatory. All right. Thank I would you. call this, now that I've extensively studied the art of the mid-Atlantic transatlantic accent, I think that that's more what she's giving than British, I would say. Or at least like, you know, maybe born in London, but then lived in the States her whole life. That's what I, that's what it was giving. Okay, so we've got the wild room, very highly decorated. We're going to be saving a lot, by the way. Oh, <laughs> here's my old save games. We had curse hole and curse. So let's just name this senior sausage because we're, we're playing on senior detective mode. Senior sausage one. <gasps> oh, I thought the game locked up. We're at risk of that, and that's why we're going to be saving often. Do I? I love these things. Do I get to do it? Perpetual motion, right? Oh, this is the stream. Is it slowed down at all? It would slow down in real life because of gravity, right? Do y'all know about gravity? Because it would slow down because of gravity, right? <laughs> this is for two hours today. Oh, I stopped it. Okay. All right, let's go explore the mansion. This is a door like this. By the way, I'm going to spend the whole, this whole replay of this game just commenting on the aesthetic because a door like this will cost $4,000. Oh, 
do I have to learn this? Yes, I'm afraid you do. If I do well, can we play a game? Yes, but only in French. Oh. <laughs> only in French? Uh, Ethel watched Amelie once. Me and Ethel both have a seven day streak, French streak on Duolingo. I need the key. I need the key. Is her name Ethel? Her name is Ethel, right? Well, I'm your guest, and you should say hello to your guest. Stay in Italy as long as you want, then. Some kind of husband you're proving to be. It's not all in my head. Don't bother. Justin's been in New York for two nights now on a work trip. This is me after I have a new relationship with ChatGPT. I've gotten a little too acquainted with ChatGPT. And I'm like, don't bother coming home. Linda? Hi, it's me, Nancy Drew. <laughs> Nancy Drew, our friendly neighborhood detective. Well, welcome to Blackmore Manor. I apologize for greeting you <laughs> under such hi, ugly. circumstances. Hi, ugly. Heard you weren't feeling very well. Still ugly? What's going on behind that curtain? Probably something ugly. And I'm sorry to and I'm bother sorry to someone. And I'm to bother someone in your condition. In your ugly condition. condition. What's my mother told you? What her son in law So she used to be our neighbor? That it's all in my head? That I'm just an unhappy new bride? That I just need time to adjust? <sighs> I'm tired all the time. My mouth is dry. My vision is blurry. But that's not important. Here's what's important, Nancy. There are some doors that should never be opened. There are some doors that hold secrets which must never be known. That's everything you need to know. Now if- Mommy, can I come in? No, you're supposed to be in your lessons. Lessons are over. I want to meet Nancy. I said no, Jane. Okay. That was my stepdaughter. She can be such a pest sometimes. Anyway, I understand you feel an what? obligation Just... to my mother, but trust me, there's nothing you can do. You're welcome to stay, but I strongly recommend that you go home as soon as possible. The straight couples in Nancy Drew games are the potentially the most toxic couples. If you're already this mad and you hate your the kid you're inheriting, the step step daughter, you, you maybe you shouldn't have gone through with this. Also, it's always the people who live in the mansions. They got time to be mad. I don't have time. Uh, please, Linda, just tell me what's wrong. So, wait, wait, wait. I'm remembering. So, I, replaying this and knowing it's all Jane's fault makes sense, of course. But also, her, uh, werewolf diva, she was just our old neighbor back in the States. That's I it, can't go right? home empty-handed. It might jeopardize my ace detective status. Linda? <laughs> okay, I'll let you She rest, passed. But I'll be back. I'm here for oh, you. Oh, I just heard. Linda? Hi, Linda. Linda? Oh. I'll be going now. I just heard. She's passed. So it's the stuff in the lotion, isn't it? Um, Emma, thank you for the bits. Fartville, thank you again for the bits. Not this. Cross it with the uh, 20 months. I really appreciate that. Thank you so much. I would uncover the furniture. That's what I would do. Oh, yeah. <laughs> is this them? Oh, no, this is them. Is this them? Man, they hate each other. Why does everyone hate each other? Okay, jump scare from... Let's go check on Jane. Hi, you must be Nancy. I'm so pleased you're here. I'm Jane. I know you've come to visit my stepmom, but I'd love it if you could pop by whenever you get the chance. Oh, we'll have such fun. Let's play a game. So this is... This is a British accent. This right here. Chucky. 
Chucky with a wig, mama. Ma oh, now that Megan's come out. M3GAN. She's Megan. That's what that's what this is. Uh not right now. I'd like to ask you some questions first. Not right now. Maybe later. I'd like to ask some questions first. Sure, what do you want to know? About Mummy? I mean, Linda. I do hope you'll help. She's been a bit out of sorts lately. Uh, why didn't she want anyone do to see her? She doesn't want to be seen. Is I she so ugly? It's because of the lady in black. I was playing in Mummy's room when she wasn't there, and when I looked up, there was a lady all dressed in black putting something on Mummy's nightstand. The woman left something? The lady put a note on Mummy's nightstand, but I didn't read it. That's when Mummy started feeling poorly. I don't want to think about that. Let's play a game. It will cheer me up. <laughs> Not it'll cheer me up. Her her new stepmom is like potentially dead in the bed. Not right now. Not right now, but maybe later. You can come in any time. It looks you want. like Even a black hole. Here, I've got some really smashing things. I'm so happy you've come, Nancy. I hope you can make mommy feel better. The be it's like she's floating on the bed, but the bed was dipped in and it looks like a black hole. Oh, if you hover over her, she looks up, right? She's not breathing. <laughs> Don't move. She senses movement. They can sense movement. Don't move. Shh. Okay. <laughs> That sh sh her her killing instincts based on movement. Who's this? That's my mum, my real mum. She's an opera singer. It's not like she's famous or anything, but she does live in Paris. Okay. You like peppermints? You don't like good what candy? Is this book? Don't know really. Ethel gave it to me. She said it I love peppermints. to my grandfather. Do you think Brady Armstrong is cute? I forgot who Brady Armstrong is, but I know he's someone in a Nancy Drew. Oh, Brady! Wait, is he the one who did the murders? No. Is Brady the one from the soap opera one? Actor from... He's the soap opera one, right? All right, so this is symbolism. Oh, God. No! Ew! Someone get her, like, a One Direction CD or something. That's weird. All right, this is where we cook food for Lulu. I that cakes for Lulu the parrot. That's why the ingredients are so nasty. Like, I would eat mealworms. That's a read. I just ate an ant sucker on stream for charity a few days ago. Oh God, yep, we're gonna be game boomering Mind the house gave that down. To me when I was in the library once. I think he was hoping it would scare me, but it didn't. I'm too smart to believe in that sort of stuff. I bet she believes in Santa. You know what the thing about kids is? They always think they're so smart and then they believe in Santa Claus. <laughs> What's the deal with that? Kira Dale, thank you for the bits. Over your... Oh, that's awesome. Well, I appreciate that. Glad you're here. Fartville, thank you so much for the bits again. KitKat2793, thank you for the bits. Not the, not the dance party. That sounds like fun. That was written by Charles Pemberlin way back in like the 1500s. When I read it, it seemed really familiar. Kids always yeah. think they know better, but they sure do believe in Santa Claus. Okay, that's a, that goes to something else. All right, let's snoop the desk. You had a guinea pig? Yes, but it died. When? I don't know. I'd really rather not think about it, all right? She said, it fell in the deep fryer. When I put it there. Yeah, she's a... Uh... Looks like you're learning some interesting stuff. Bet you wouldn't say that if you were the one who had to learn it. 
I miss school. You do you remember when you so you turn into an adult in school? You get to learn a, a second language for free, and then you become an adult, and you're like, oh shit. It'd be cool if I could speak that second language because you didn't appreciate it in school. And then you're like, oh, now I have to pay a lot of money to do this. Or, you know, do it for free. And then it doesn't. And then you don't do it. I want to take cool. I want to take English again. I want to take math again. So I want to take science again. I want to do art projects. I totally love that show. Isn't Brady Armstrong so dreamy? Total haughty. He didn't look like that, did he? I thought he was the blonde one. Who's Brady Armstrong? Is that what he looked like? Brady Armstrong. I thought he was the blonde one. Look at that. I'm not even touching the mouse and it's gliding down the screen. Oh, he's from Final Scene. Oh, okay, so I was thinking of the wrong person. Well, let me see what Brady Armstrong looked like. Oh, was he? He was the one where the where the janitor Joe. Is that the one in St. Louis? Oh, that's the one where the janitor. Oh, okay, I'm on the same page. Sorry. I'm with you now. Still weird. Still, still weird. Still really weird. The oh, mouse head. You ah! with me. You must be Nancy. I'm Jane's tutor, Ethel. Hi, Ethel. How do you do? Jane is very excited you're visiting. You're all she's talked about for the past week. What's her accent? What's that? Gigi, thanks again for the bits. Cosmos, thank you for the bits. You did a present because of this game. You did a presentation on lycanthropy in seventh grade. <laughs> no, I this. I feel so embarrassed. I didn't think I'd have a fan club. Okay, I'm ready to be this Nancy. Wow, I feel so embarrassed. I didn't think I'd have a fan club all the way over here. Yes, well. I'm sorry, but I'm in a bit of a rush. I need to go over some things with Jane. Oh, I guess she forgot I'll be going to. Now. Oh, I forgot about this. She slides past me. Cross ah! again, I'm sure. That I'm gonna end the stream that way. Okay, chat. I guess I'll see you tomorrow. Just slipping right past her. I love this. Oh, I'm gonna be playing this very slowly. I'm soaking it in this time. We're going to have, this is going to be five episodes long. We just don't even know. Oh, I just heard the parrot. Oh, that's Jane. And there's the woman this with the plant. This is Drake's room. Oh, this is Miss Drake's room. I guess she's room. not in her room. She's the one who, who lives in the basement with plants. <laughs> oh, it's just a parrot. No, you didn't. No, you didn't. <laughs> did you, did you? Time to argue with this parrot. Trying trying to save face in front of this parrot. What's your name? No, you didn't. Okay, I get the point. Lulu. Okay, Lulu, Jane. Lulu, Lulu, okay, Lulu. Robert. Bye. Bye, bird. Bob's your uncle. I'm going to accidentally kill this bird later. Okay, this key. door. I need a key to. I need the and key. I think that oh, dragon's behind there. We really just put that right back over her. Bye, bird. Oh, Lulu, iconic. There goes my cell phone. Hello. Hi, Nancy. It's Mrs. Petrov. How is everything? Have you seen Why didn't you come time? over here? It's your daughter, right? Um Literally speaking, sure no, this. but I did talk to her. Not that she told me anything. I'm just about at my wit's end. I've never known her to act like this. The last doctor that examined her said that aside from a little dry skin, which is not unusual for her, she was perfectly fine. Uh 
Why is she behind Why the curtain? Why is she hiding behind that curtain? I have no idea. When I was out there last week, I got fed up and pulled the curtain back. She threw a fit, but otherwise she looked absolutely normal. A little pale, perhaps, but who wouldn't be pale cooped up like that? Something has changed her. Something in that house. Hugh is just as bewildered and upset by and her And Hugh's in as Italy? I'm. Please get to the bottom of this, Nancy. You're our last hope. So she sent their ex-neighbor instead of going herself? Where is Hugh? Where is Hugh? He was called to Rome. As a diplomat, he's always being called out of the country without warning and without any say in the matter. He'd much rather be there with Linda. Although... Although what? Although what? He it's did recently say he hated her. It's been very easy for him to talk to her lately. Whenever he calls, which is at least once a day, Linda always seems to fly off the handle for no reason, which doesn't make sense. Linda has always been extremely level-headed and even-tempered. She never gets angry. At least she didn't used to. Who exactly is Mrs. Drake? She's Hugh's aunt. She's taken care of Blackmore Manor ever since her brother died. He Bye, Monica. Father. Thank you for the bits. She's a bit of a character. Fartville, thank you again for the bits. Gigi, thank you for the bits, too. Oh, a gargoyle statue, statue sounds so cool. I, I remember watching the animated show Gargoyles. In what way? The way she spends all her time in that conservatory, slouching around, trowel in hand, murmuring to herself. You'd think she was burying something. Or somebody. They said, oh, she has a hobby. She, something must be wrong with her. She likes doing Goodbye, something. Goodbye, Nancy. Oh, one more thing. My niece is on call and her husband's out of town. And, and I told her I'd go over there and babysit if she had to work. So if you call and I don't answer, that's why. Bye. Okay, I remember there's, they have like a researcher here too. There he is. Ah, yes. Are you here from the agency? It's about time. Um, no, I'm no, Nancy, Drew. I'm Nancy Drew. A friend, a of, friend Linda's. of Linda's. How do you do? I'm Nigel Mukherjee. I'm researching the Penvalent family, and Mrs. Drake has graciously opened the library for me. Nothing much has been written about the Penvalents until now. Imagine that, like, I don't know. It's wild to me that there are all these important families that, like, I don't know, need written about. Do we need a book about the pen Penvalents? Why do you think that is? It might have something to do with their scandalous history. Or perhaps it has something to do with the family treasure. Is that what you're going to write about? I'm Must we learn about, about these important families? <laughs> he was a brilliant soldier in the 15th century. No one's going to read this book. His exemplary military service, he was given the land that surrounds this castle as well as the castle itself. Some say the source of his military strength was a strange stone. Of course, that's all legend, but it makes you wonder, doesn't it? It's uranium. It's built on uranium. It's a uranium mine. Oh, what if that were the plot twist and she was just sitting on uranium and the uranium was making her sick? You said something before about a treasure? For I would like to know the, the treasure. Have been very secretive. Some believe they're protectors of a fabulous treasure or of some dark secret. There are several skeletons rattling about in the Penvalin closet. Take, for example... Y'all like him? Y'all haven't said anything Eleanor yet. Y'all are always thirsty for someone. In 1650, quite the height of the witch trials here in Essex. It was rumored that Cromwell arranged the conviction. I know all about Cromwell. I watch uh, British documentaries. But she wasn't actually a witch? Who knows? Lady Penvalin was a rather vocal critic of Cromwell's policies and helped many of his enemies flee the country. Whether she actually was a practitioner of witchcraft is unknown, although many visitors to the manor during her tenure reported hearing strange, ghostly bells. Some even saw phantom hands floating That was probably the bells they ring for the servants. Their charmed chimes. Uh, you mentioned some kind of scandal. Is there anything I can sell to the tabloids? You mentioned some kind of scandal with the Pendleton family? Well, having a family member burned as a witch can hardly be considered a mark of pride, I dare say. 
And then there's the whole business with the Blackmore Beast. He really just stops there, doesn't he? He just keeps dropping these breadcrumbs. Blackmore, Blackmore Beast? Beast? It's a story that's been told for generations out here. During the 1600s, As if I'm not going to ask a question about it. reported seeing a strange beast with red eyes and giant fangs prowling the moors. They asked the mistress of Blackmore Manor, Eleanor Penvelin, to put a bounty on the beast's head. But, oddly enough, she not only refused, she forbade anyone from hunting the creature. Forbade? The beast was Eleanor's husband, whom she had cursed for finding out too much about the Penvelin secret. <gasps> When I was walking around the house, I saw someone with red eyes. When I was walking up to the house, I saw something with red eyes that called out to me. Really? How extraordinary. Are you sure it wasn't just jet lag? Positive, jet lag. and I heard it make this kind of growling sound. Jet lag. Perhaps it was the cursed husband of Eleanor Penvelin prowling about the moors in search of lost yanks. <laughs> Who? Very Not funny. yanks. <laughs> Not Yanks. Is it true that so in in the UK they call all of us Yanks over here, but in the US we call like no, people from people Northerners Yanks. Is that what we're just all Yanks to people in uh the UK? I saw that somewhere. Maybe it was a TikTok. Americans. Um, have you seen any runes? Have you seen any runes anywhere in the manor? You mean like Norse runes? No, I haven't. I don't really know much about them anyway. Dead languages aren't really my bag, you know. La he doesn't do Latin? I'll let you get back to your work. Tally-ho! Oh, I don't know where Yanks comes from. I forgot about this face. What is this face? He looks like someone just placed a human turd in his hand. Does he not? He looks like he held out his hand for change and someone placed a human turd in it. Fascinating piece, isn't it? James Penvelin sculpted it in 1591, although it appears that wand was added at a later date. He was quite a flamboyant figure and never married, but one day, Not a this. child appeared quite mysteriously in the castle. Well, and he I didn't ask for his own. life story. That was Eleanor, and many of the town folk believed her to be a changeling or fairy baby. Wait, what did they just say about him? He, they, he said, and they were roommates. Oh god, not all the books. I doubt you'll find much of interest in there. They're mainly I was not books. listening, I'm sorry. Charles I was thinking about was a prominent judge holding a human century. turd. <laughs> Sad to say, he lost his son at a young age. Left I was elsewhere. His grandson, Thomas. Law books. I've missed Nancy Drew. Y'all, these are the funnest games. Those manuscripts are very old and brittle. They date back to the 14th century. Odo Penvelin collected most of them. Oh, His I like the name Odo. And son Milo were oh, it kind of sounds like a dog's name. In military victories than in book collecting. I'm trying to browse on my own, and this man is just explaining I'm books to me. Philippe Penvelin, and it appears that many scholars believe he was a pirate. That would explain his source of wealth. Thank you. I nobody asked this man. He's tapping so fast. What's he tapping? I mean, I know he told me, but I don't believe him. Okay, Hello, anything else? Oh, I'll let that's you get all. back to your work. Vale. That looks like the itchiest suit, though. Does it look like that suit is so itchy? That suit looks so itchy. Okay, I gotta go talk to um, Betty in the basement. It's hard to maneuver sometimes. It's hard just to get around in life sometimes. Okay, and there's the big plant that can eat me. Looks like John Pendleton may have developed some of the plants that are in here himself. Oh, wow. 
there's this place. Uh, I was watching Antiques Roadshow UK, and there's this place in the UK where they have this big greenhouse that looks like a spaceship, and it's got all these exotic plants from all over the world in it. And it looks really cool. What's up with that? Doesn't work. And they had Antiques Roadshow there once. It is pretty. Oh, that's the one. You know what we're going to save. All right, let's see what she's up to. Oh, not the knife! Look at her. We can make her wave this. Oh, that's a, sh that's a All settled spade. In? Good. I'm happy that you're visiting Linda, but I know how much you teenagers like your televisions and loud stereos, so I must insist that you act respectfully and civilly while you stay with us. Since my nephew Hugh is away on business, she voted I for am Brexit. in charge of this household. And if there's one thing I cannot stand, is that what we're all thinking? Noise. Hugh's daughter Jane is staying with us and would very much like to meet you, but please try not to distract her. She has her I already talked and to Jane. Be disturbed during her lessons. Is that what we're all thinking? Turning with a knife. Anyone else here? Is anyone else staying here? We do not have any permanent house staff, if that's what you mean. The Penvalents have always I been I said that in the first playthrough! We quite well without being continuously mollycoddled by a squadron of insane oh, no! ne'er-do-wells. Now, this is we using me recycled jokes. Guests. Our Mr. Nigel Mukherjee, who is researching the Penvalent family history in the library. Yeah, I like and Nigel. Wilson, Jane's tutor. I don't trust Ethel. She shimmies out of rooms. <laughs> Do you know what's wrong with Linda? Do you know what's wrong with Linda? Oh, Linda simply needs some time to adjust to her new living situation. England is not the United States. We do things differently, or should I say properly, here. Oh my the god. believes it's just a case she, of nerves. She still refers to the United States as the colonies. You fucking know she does. <laughs> she says, are you from the colonies? <laughs> Ah, ah, she thinks the Salem witch trials just happened. She just got that newspaper. <laughs> the, you from the colonies. Her mother told me she refuses to let anyone see her. I'm so done Is with that her. True? I don't know, and the doctors don't know. No one seems to know anything. All I've been told is that Linda is unwell and that in her stead, I must look after matters. Now, please, I really do not have time to entertain you. You may I don't want to be entertained house, by you. Not You're not entertaining. And refrain from mucking about with items that aren't yours. Two rules Jane <laughs> seems incapable of following. And before I forget, our kitchen is being remodeled, so our dining situation is rather unorthodox. I've made arrangements with a local restaurant to deliver meals to us. There should be a programmed number for them on the phone in your room. Feel free to order whatever you'd like. She puts leeches on paper cuts. <laughs> she said, oh, you have a cold? Let me get my jar of leeches. That's what she does. That's who she is. The picture book in Jane's room. Do you know much about its history? My brother Alan found it somewhere in the house. He was quite fascinated by it, but he'd never let me look at it. Um, Farville, thank you again for the bits. Nina Eleanor, thank you for the 12 months. Oh. I appreciate that so much. Did I say that? Hilda Swenson, thank you for the gift sub. I appreciate that. Kick at Moss, thank you for the bits. Check my... Oh, y'all got the Discord alert like an hour and a half? Yeah. Sometimes, maybe the bot's like laggy or something. There's a bot that does it. I'm sorry. I'll check on it and see if it uh is a known issue with it or anything. Thank you for letting me know. I'm concerned about that thing I saw outside. It was purely your imagination, unless you saw a, a stray dog. But the I will not have any histronics about this issue. We have enough to worry about with Linda. And please do not get any ideas about going outside to investigate. I do not want you tracking mud all over this house. I'm not allowed to go outside. What was your brother Alan like? Oh, he was quite remarkable. 
He taught linguistics and computer science and won many prestigious awards. He loved games, especially pranks, and was forever tinkering with this and that. I do miss him sometimes, but now he's oh. gone. He died a month after my husband passed away. And ever since I've been here all alone. Until you came back from the United States, that is. Okay, what about the Can bird? Tell me about, tell me about the bird. Lulu is a very old parrot. She must be over 80 years old. Please Aww. be very careful with her, especially if you feed her. Parrots have quite delicate constitutions. I would know. say you're not allowed to feed her. This is an 80-year-old parrot. Only its handler should be feeding it. That's what I would say. Goodbye. The pleasure is all mine, child. Can I get eaten now by the plant? Messing with her plants is probably not a good idea. Not her prescription. <laughs> Do you have allergies, Mrs. Drake? Oh, yes. Hay fever. Although Nancy I'm not says... so sure what's worse. My I'm sorry. allergies or that medication. Wait, 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 wait. It makes me feel as if I'm about to float right out of my shoes. So Nancy said, I shouldn't touch her plants, but I'll sure fuck up with her prescription. Look, it is filled to the top. She said, I need 900 Lexapro. Fill it to the top, diva. They filled her up. She said, I need a jar of Zannies. And they, they, and they said, oh, hey, Rich, sure. A jar of Zannies? Just what the doctor ordered. Good God. Imagine getting, imagine actually getting your prescriptions. I bet she didn't even have to copay. A carnivorous plant. Cool. <laughs> That's probably not a good idea. There's one of your deaths. There you go, chat. She just watched me get eaten. Honest, okay, uh, someone like Nancy Drew, it would probably take a human, um, I don't know, I would say at least a week to be fully digested in that plant. And and what's her name over here? Um, Golden Girls really is just watching me get eaten instead of cutting me out of that thing. <laughs> That's the good ending. <sighs> I'm hungry. Who's ready for some nummies? Did you say something, Mrs. Drake? Not to you, dear. Oh, Mrs. Drake. That's it. not again, please. Oh my god, she's me with Chat GPT. Like I said, Justin's been gone this week. He's on a business trip. And I've gotten really close to Chat GPT lately. Just like her with her plants. That's me and chat GPT now. Uh, Dr. Consolero, thank you for the first time sub. Welcome. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Brittany May, thank you for the 10 uh, months. Good to see you. Oh, uh, Jenna Devlin, thank you for all those bits. I appreciate it. Thank you so much. And Brittany May, thank you again. Thank you for the bits. Not this. Kit Kat Moss, thank you for the bits as well. Was that allergy medication? I guess. Did we... Was that a real allergy drug? I feel like we asked this question the first time around, too. Oh, isn't that a famous painting? That's a famous paint. Not that one. I don't know what that is. Wonder what happened in there. Please stay out of the kitchen till the fire damage is repaired. There's something with this cricket ball in there. Don't I take the cricket ball at some point? This just kind of goes in a circle. Oh, yeah. Oh, the card playing machine. That thing looks more real than the child. That thing looks more like a human than Jane. Oh, well, thank you, Dr. Consolero. I do appreciate that. Welcome. Brit Steps, thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. Thank you. Thank you. Yeah, you could have told me that was a human. And I believe you. But Jane? You gotta be kidding me. Does the clock do anything? 
Oh, what's that door? Oh, okay. I'm on the wrong side of the hallway I thought I was on. Okay, I see where I am now. Okay. Seems like it'd be a good time to go to sleep. <laughs> oh. Uh, I guess we could play a game with... Oh, no, that's... No. No. God, no. <laughs> I hate her. I'll play a game. Diamond Lake, thank you for the bits. Oh, I'm glad you got to pop in. 323 day. You know, it's in full swing. We're really vibing. Hi, Nancy. Do you want to play a game? That would oh, be I lovely. didn't mean to click Which that game would you one. To play? I have a fun astronomy game. Look inside the chest over there and pick a game. My great aunt said it's a hope chest, so I put my games in there in the hope someone would come over to play. We can play Bull, Constellation Match, Petroglyph Punch, Skull and Bones, and I also have a jigsaw puzzle. You I sure have to have eventually play games. them all, don't I? I love games. I want to make computer games when I grow up. Oh, I do love that. Uh, Jamie, thank you for the 17 uh, months. I appreciate that so much. Your Thing Magazine, thank you for the bids. Great to see you. She's just, I imagine she just pushes me in this chest and throws the chest in a river. Do you know what I mean? Hi, Nancy. Have you ever seen anything strange <laughs> Not want to play Once a game from Saw. I saw my Uncle Roger's fly off during a windstorm. Talk about freaky. I'm Uncle Roger. Do you think there's a treasure hidden around Toupé here? Flew. I highly doubt it. I mean, if there were, wouldn't someone have already found it? When I asked Ethel about it, she said that it's the pen villain name and heritage that should be treasured. Blech. Um, now, what about that? The lady in black you saw in Mysterious person. Did she look like anyone you know? Like I said before, I couldn't really see her face, but she was kind of dressed like the lady in the Great Hall. Which lady? Eleanor. I know it sounds weird. That's why I didn't want to tell anyone. It's too creepy. Children are liars. Sometimes That's all this game tells me. It all up. Mrs. Drake she, is always saying I have she's a, a psychopath. imagination. She's been poisoning her stepmom, and she's blaming it on a ghost? I should get going. Come back soon. That's not fair. For me to say. Well, we should probably play a game with her. You saw Jaina. Whoa, whoa, wait, what did you say? You saw Jaina as a kid and what? Hi, Nancy. <laughs> Everyone's Do you a liar. Play a game? Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. I can't get out of this. Can I try a jigsaw puzzle? Can I try? <gasps> oh, I can't get out of this and I'm stuck in this box. Up for a game of bull? Cool. Why it's doesn't really she blink? To play. Oh, no, you can't... roll the coin and move your warrior the number of dots on the coin. Oh, we're... If no dots, I'm trapped in it too. Spaces. You get two turns, but I'm you stuck here too. On your second turn. You just keep on going down this track and you can capture my person if you land on him. I kind of remember this. I don't really need to I'll listen to the rules. Here we go. Oh, let's I'm leaving. Another time. Oh, Too yes, I escaped. Do you want to play a game? No, I didn't lose. I gave up. Maybe some other time. I'll see you later. Toodles. Bye, Whitney. Thank you for the bits. I'm glad you got to be here. Let me save it. Whenever I have to... If I ever have to click out of the window, we have to save it because this game is uh, prone to crashing. Um, I want to make sure I got everyone. <laughs> Jamie, thank you again for the bits. And Brittany May, thank you for the bits too. I appreciate it. Y'all didn't Nancy. like? So if you're on YouTube, I left them on this screen while I took a bathroom break. And they didn't like that. They thought that was weird. Did she blink? I was just testing something. I wanted y'all to see if she ever blinks. Do you want to play a game? Mm-hmm. <laughs> Did she blink? Never. <laughs> Let's play that constellation matchup game. She didn't okay. blink. I actually found it in your well, room. Well, see, I just actually, I wanted to test Bridget's it. Room. I mean, it used to be her room. I mean, she died like 300 years ago. You can see a painting of her in the Great Hall. She's the one with the telescope. 
Okay, so you have Sorry to match to up hear. a pair of I just heard. I made all the matches in 25 tries. Try to beat my record. 25 tries? Gross. <laughs> I'm sorry. Does that mean gray? I'm sorry. Imagine all of the beautiful names for constellations. There's Sagittarius, Aquarius. Oh, him over there? That's just gross. <laughs> oh, that's just gross. Um, have I fucking ran into any? Oh, you know what? I I took too many tries, but maybe next time. That's just gross. Let me try one more time. You know what? I need to write it down. We're going to write this down. I have, mm -hmm. if y'all don't know this, mm -hmm. that doesn't help. Exclamation point merch. I have my sausage sleuth notebook and it has a uh, dot paper. And so with dot paper, I can easily draw this. It's one, two, three, four, five, six by four. That's 24. Six by four. Okay, now it's time to cheat. Tell us. So she took 25 tries. Are you really sausage sleuthing if you don't have a sausage sleuth notebook? Oh, wait, what was that? Was that with this one down here? That was Muska. Mucus. Aquila. Oh, that was Muska too. Okay, this one's Aquila. This one's done. That one is done. You don't think this will work? Why not? I'm literally going to know where they all are. I'm still like guessing and matching them as I go. See, Crater, I already knew where she was. Yeah, I have 25 turns. I sure do. And look, I'm not even going to take all of them. I'm about to wreck this card game. Abby, thank you for the bits. What about the pausing? Uh, Abby, thank you for the bits. Happy 323 day. Rage, thank you for the bits too. Oh, I'm glad you got to be here. I haven't done this one yet. Oh, I did that one. I mean, I would think this would be the most efficient way to do it. There's Gris. <gasps> Cassiopeia! Corona! <gasps> oh! <laughs> Columbia? Scrotum. Y'all, is this a different puzzle on Sausage Sleuth mode? Because I don't remember any of this. Corvus. Did I do Corvus? Was that this one? Oh, okay. I didn't write that down. I just remembered it. Cassiopeia. I know where that one is, too. Okay, I should be starting to make one, two, three, four. There should only be like one more. I don't know what it is. And it's that one, I believe. Cygnus. Yeah. Oh, there's Gress. Gress is... Uh-oh. Oh, no, this is Gress. Columbia was this one... Scrotum was this one. Cygnus was this one. She's about to eat shit. You beat my score. Felicitations. What? I should get going. Au revoir. Do I have to beat her Hi, at all Nancy? the games? 
Do I have to beat her at all the games? We just we can get that over with if I have to beat her. I have to eventually be beat her at all the games, right? No, <laughs> what did she call us? <laughs> That's something I have to. Oh no! Is the answer no? Oh, you don't have to. Oh, I should get going. Toodles. Oh well, then I'm stuck. I don't know what to do. <laughs> Oh, it doesn't count if you knew it now. I need the, the rave glow stick. I'm in the Half Moon Joe room. Oh, Salsa Senorita, thank you for the gift sub. I appreciate that so much. Um, Bristeps, thank you for the bits. Oh, no. I'm sending you good vibes. I'm sorry to hear that. Hercules! That's Aquarius. I don't know about that. Why is this the music from Beauty- from the beginning of Beauty and the Beast? You know what? Mom jeans are really in, so... Nancy really... She's back in fashion. Oh no. On my first playthrough of this, did I not see that box for like three episodes or something weird? I remember there's like a telescope and I look at the wall and the wall looks weird. Oh, let's call Hugh. Hugh Penvalin here. Hello, Mr. Penvalin. This is Nancy Drew. I'm the one who's visiting Linda. You know, from the United States, across the pond. Who hey, talks like on. that? Are of course he knows where the yes, United States and I is. To Linda. Good for oh you, my because God. frankly, that's something I've been quite unable to do lately. I love These to visit Europe. Of hers make rational discourse well nigh impossible. I love to go to Europe and say, I'm from the United States, you know, across the pond. <laughs> As if they don't already know who we are because they hate us. How long have these tantrums been going on? Ever since I left for Italy. We'll be talking on the phone about the weather or Jane's lessons or something equally innocuous, and suddenly she'll be bellowing at me and slamming the phone down. So there I was, across the pond. There must be something that sets her off. Everything sets her off. I promise you, these rages of hers are totally uncalled for and quite unbearable. I love her dearly, but she is making things very difficult. I don't think they're going to make it, if we're being honest. I understand that Mrs. Drake is your aunt? Yes, Aunt Letitia. We're not very close, however. She's always been rather aloof, much more interested in being a Penvalin than a person, if you know what I mean. I can relate in that Nancy's rich, too, but not famous. Not from a, a name. She seems kind of irritable. That's putting it mildly. But then I imagine she's feeling a bit insecure. She's getting on in years and she's alone and she's totally dependent upon me. Financially, that is. Although there is the six-month habitation clause. The what? According to the Penvalin rules of inheritance, the spouse of Blackmore Manor's current owner, that would be Linda since I'm the current owner, the spouse of the current owner must reside in the manor for at least six months. Should she or he leave the manor before six months is up, ownership of one half of the estate immediately passes to the next... That's not real. Heir. And That's that not going to hold up in court. Drake. Correct. You know what? This is the perfect time for this. That's not real! Court adjourned. I'm not a real lawyer. That's not a real legal ruling. But I just, I saw an opportunity to use the new gavel cam and I took it. That's not a law. Is that in their prenup or something? I met your daughter, Jane. Quite the bundle of energy, isn't she? 
I get the feeling that she's a little lonely. I'm sure she is, what with a private tutor instead of school and Linda being... under the weather. And coming back to Blackmoor no doubt reminds her of her real mother. Renee and I were divorced almost two years ago. Jane went into a bit of a tailspin for a while, but she's gone I can tell. Door, Linda. She's been calling her mummy since the day we were married. Okay, that's good. It was nice Great. talking to you. This is an extremely busy time for me, so I apologize in advance if you call and I'm unavailable. I understand. Good. Cheerio. Do people actually say cheerio? Is that a real thing? I've never heard it on Antiques Roadshow UK. Or on Keeping Up Appearances. Oh, Pinky's in the background. Hi, baby. You gonna nap up there? I love you. Oh, Piggy's sleeping on the couch. I guess I'll call the cook. Boar's Head Pub, this is Tommy. Hi, this is Nancy Drew. I'm supposed to call you if I want some food. <laughs> right, right, Nancy Drew, out at the old Hi, Manor, it's me, Nancy. You? you must be Ank Marvin up there. Pity about your kitchen, but we'll fix you up for some Bex and Posh. Just tell me what you'd like. Uh, okay. This one what sounds the have? most British to me. This accent. And mash, a real fine pinky and perky, and a delicious dog's eye, me fork and knife, just rubber ducked. Honestly, this Hello. sounds th um, the most <laughs> British to me. That? Sure, we've got some loop de loop bangers and mash, pinky and perky, and a dog's eye, and they're all Robin Hood. Bangers and mash. Rodeo, Uncle Fred and Johnny Rudder. Um. Yeah. Uh, okay. All right, then. We'll come round and leave it at your Rory. Oh, and we've got no hot potato about, so it might take a bit. But we'll have it up to you in no time. Fish and taters. Fish and taters, see you laters. I saw this thing on QI where they were explaining. Where they were explaining, like, the rhyming and stuff. And, like, what it all mean means. And how it works. Wonder what my my email said. Uh, Hardy, congratulations. Oh, that didn't click the one I thought it was going to. I didn't read what there said. Congrats on your Great Britain gig. We'll be thanking of you while we help our neighbor, Mr. Bergdorf, install his brand new satellite dish. Oh, those hardy boys, they are up to no good. No email service abroad. Your current phone plan does not... Oh, wow. Wait, Nancy didn't want to have to pay to upgrade her phone plan while she was away? Not Pip Pip. Well, that's fine. I don't like it when people contact me. Now, what's on the internet? Do y'all browse the internet? Oh, why stars seem to move. <laughs> Not why stars seem to move. Miss Petrov. Oh, you know what? We'll prove the haters wrong. I'm calling Ned. I'm calling Ned. Hello? Hi, Ned. Hey, Nancy. What you doing, Nan? What's going on? Let's just say that so far your call is the high point of my day. So how's Blackmore Manor? A little I'm not surprised. Side. How's Mrs. Petrov's daughter? A little on the spooky side. A little on the spooky side. Which means? It's just very strange. She stays in bed hiding behind this curtain all day. Do you have any idea what the deal is? Nope. We'll just keep talking to her. As soon as she knows she can trust you, I'm sure she'll open up. Linda's stepdaughter, Jane. She's got a really weird picture Linda's book. Linda's stepdaughter, Jane? She has this really weird picture book in her room. What do you mean, a picture book? I mean, pictures are all that's in this book. No words, just these strange <laughs> hand-drawn images. And the book is old, like it's that's been a picture for book. centuries. When kids, Drawings, huh? kids have books with pictures. Kind of an ancient instruction manual. You know, for people who didn't know how to read. 
could be. When I asked her about it, Jane said her grandfather gave it to her. And then... And then what? And then she changed the subject. Hmm. Sounds like that book may prove to be pretty important. I'll talk to you soon. I'll be waiting. All right, good chat. Good chat. Oh, put the phone down. I'm going to bed. Oh, that's the phone. Oh, yeah, where's... Mm, I did order food, but I think I'll just go to sleep. <laughs> it's already 8.45. Let's wake up. I'll wake up once at, like... I like to wake up a few times. <laughs> I like to wake up a few times in the middle of the night. And I like to stand in the room, middle of the room, spin a few times, and then I go back to bed for the rest of the night. Not the chanting. Three fifteen. Turds so baby, I chanting. Have a look around. Is this where I get to see them in the lobby chanting? Oh, I didn't even try to go upstairs, did I? I oh, I can die that way too, can I? I'd better stay inside. If I track mud in the house, Mrs. Drake will kill me. Wait, why am I not watching there? I heard the witch cackle. That was Lulu, clearly. <laughs> his Harry Potter cosplay. <laughs> not his Harry Potter. Oh, fuck this. Drink chewers, you definitely see goodies. Oh, no, thank you. Oh, yeah. Yeah, y'all don't have a picture of yourselves just lying around. I can't believe that y'all don't, y'all aren't thirsting over him, though. I think he's one of the. He's one of the better looking Nancy Drew, you know, robot looking NPCs. Y'all don't think so? Is the name Nigel? Yes! You don't like his hair? I thought his hair looked the most modern out of like most of them. I've seen Henrik. I've played all the games. What's that supposed to mean? Everyone's sleeping. Go to your room and set your clock. What time do most people get up around here? 6 a.m. 6 a.m. Set your clock for 6 a.m. <laughs> Sweet dreams. And the winner is Bruno. Well, everyone likes Dave from Shadow Ranch. I already know that. I know everyone's thirsting over Dave. She's probably sleeping. That's the perfect time to put a pillow over her face. <laughs> That's the perfect time to put the pillow She's over the face. Sleeping. Oh, it's the name for you? You're name shaming that Nigel? The food I ordered. Bangers Not and me. mash, huh? Looks like Me eating me. this food fully like 12 hours this later. Delicious. And Uncle Fred and Johnny Rudder are just plain old bread and butter. I thought that was a potato. Mm. Ah, that was really good. She didn't put any butter on the bread. She's a psycho. Me waking up at 3 a.m. for my little midnight snack. Delicious. Okay. I guess I have to wake up at 6 a.m. these days. I don't know when the food was delivered. That's still up in the air. 
What's that? With her eyes so bright, looks toward heaven at midnight. On the longest night of year, that's the one she holds most dear. Sorry, friends, she's often heard to say, how I wish that I could make you stay. She knows though they can't remain, time will bring them round again. I don't want to disturb them. <laughs> I do. I want to say, could you keep it down? Your singing is garbage. Can you keep it down in there? You singing is trash. All right, what's the tea today, Linda? Are you still... I'm sorry to bother you again, but Jane told me about the Lady in Black. What Lady in Black? Jane never said anything to me about a Lady in Black. That kid is so weird, I just don't get her. She said you look really bad in black. She said you're ugly. Did you receive a note or something that's upset you? I did receive something. But it's none of your concern. You can't help me and that's that. I'm sorry. Linda, you have to give me a chance. Everyone is so worried about you. If you just tell me what's happened, maybe I could help. Linda? Linda? I made a promise to your mother and I plan to keep it. I'm here for you when you need me. Is she snoring? Hideous fucking wallpaper. I want to see one of these mansions, like, looking good for once. You know what I mean? We, it doesn't have to be, like, period specific. It doesn't have to be stuck in the Victorian age. We don't need Edwardian. Do you, by any chance, know Latin? Not I'll Semper Ubi Sabubi. Yes. Would you mind translating something for me? Fire away. Um, I don't remember what Roma? I need this for. Semper Ubi Sabubi. The shortest day is Bruma, the winter solstice. Equinoctium vernum is a spring equinox. Equinoctium autumnalis is a fall equinox. This sound is giving me a migraine. Lulu's always right. God, Lulu, get some rest. Bye, bird. Bye, bye, bye. Lulu, get some rest. Oh, I thought that was Miss Drake mumbling. Oh, damn. All right. I don't remember if Nigel doesn't come in. He doesn't come in for a while. Do I have to play? I feel like there's this, the password to the other computer is somewhere, but I don't really remember. Y'all don't like Nigel? He's just a nerd who likes books. That's fun. That's fun. Liking books is fun. Uh, Sophie, thank you for the bits. I appreciate that. Bristeps, thank you for the bits. Hilda Swinson, thank you as well. Uh, I see the cosmos. Did I say thank you for the... No, Interstellar Strut with the 25 freaking months. Thank you so much. I appreciate that. Uh, Ashley, good to see you. Thank you for the bits. Fartville. Not this. Not Ned and Dan. Okay, I might end the stream here today. I know we've only been playing the game for about an hour, um, but I'm... With her eyes so bright, looks <sighs> heaven at... Lulu almost sent me over the edge for a migraine that's been developing. <laughs> Lulu hmm, just about tripod. sent me for over the camera, edge. Maybe? for a migraine that's been developing all day. So I think we're going to have to end it there. My, my migraine? So yeah, if you remember, there was going to be a slumber party stream tonight, but I'm going to move that to next week because, yeah, I think I'm going to have a headache this evening. Um, oh, Say Nice Things About the Chat was redeemed by Diamond Lake. Dear chat, I've missed playing Nancy Drew games with y'all. This was so much fun.
I loved this. Thank y'all for being here. Let's save the game so that we know that we saved the game. We'll be playing more of this on Tuesday. Stay tuned. Also, tomorrow, plan it on playing Resident Evil 4 Remake. It comes out tomorrow. I'm very excited for it. So stay tuned for that as well. Ah! Oh. oh, our time here has come to an end. Oh, I declare that this was fun. Thank you so much for being here. Thank you for all the bits, donations, subs, gift subs, wonderful Patreon patrons. Y'all are freaking amazing. It's fun to be back playing some Nancy Drew games. I'll see y'all tomorrow, Resident Evil 4. Next week, more Nancy Drew and Shrek. So much fun. Love y'all so much. See you then. Uh, bye. Shyro and Froggy Girl, Sophie, Bristeps, thank you for the bits, by the way. I appreciate that. <laughs>